You're listening to The Paul Higgins Show, the place for ambitious tech consultants with purpose. After 18 years as a global sales leader and having a successful tech consulting exit, I'm sharing what's working now to transform emerging tech consultants worldwide into trusted consultants that attract the best clients and deliver measurable results. When you're ready to level up your clarity, results and freedom, begin with the free tech consulting blueprint available at techconsultantsblueprint.com. Hello, this is Paul Higgins and welcome to episode 514 of my podcast. I will go through the key shows for the year and also give you a bit of an outlook of what's going to happen in 2024. So we had 71 podcasts, all shows, and we had three brands this year. So there was a lot happening and I promise that the brand won't change again because as you know, I've solved that by calling it Paul Higgins Show. But I changed from Accelerate Sales to Cloud Consultant Show and to Paul Higgins. And you can go and find an episode where I went through it. But basically, Accelerate Sales is great, but I'm more than sales. Cloud Consultants, we're more than cloud. We're actually tech consultants. And as I said, I couldn't come up with another name. And I thought, why don't just I call it my name? And then we can always have a tagline to the core audience that I am. And the core audience is you as a tech consultant. We celebrated our 500th show during the year, which was a fantastic, a great milestone, as they say, one I thought I'd never achieve when I first started. So I'll go through a couple of the interview shows, you know, it's a little bit like picking my favourite child. So Tam, if you're listening, Tam's my oldest. She always says that um, out of the three children I've got, I've got one furry child, which is Coco, our 14-year-old Cavoodle, that Coco is our favourite. And yes, Tam, Coco is the favourite. But these there was so many great podcasts, so I had to you know pick a few. But um, anyway, I'll go through them. So uh, f- episode four 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 was Matt Dixon, and Matt Dixon uh, was heavily involved in the Challenger sale as a New York best selling author. But I think it was really relevant around closing the sales gap between no decision and purchase. And you know, I think often what we think is there's a competitor, but often it's the no decision who's our real enemy. And Matt had a great way of going through that. I really learned it. I applied that with some of my clients. And I think it's really relevant given the economic times that we're in at the moment where, you know, typically sales cycles are getting longer and deals are getting smaller. Next was 460, Robin Leonard. And he talked about shifting to recurring revenue. And I know that that's very topical. Every time I get on a, a call with someone, they talk about, you know, how can I get more recurring revenue? You know, it's fantastic for selling your business because you get a higher multiple, but it's also really good because then you can place safe bets because you know that you've got that income coming in. You're just not going from project to project. So go and listen to Robin and he's got some great strategies there and a bit of a shout out because he is an Australian. Most of our audience isn't. Next was 463, Massimo Ian. Roberto and Massimo is a great guy. Uh, we call him Mass, and he was using LinkedIn Outreach to grow your cloud consulting business, which is now tech consulting. And we worked together, so he was a client of mine through that year. And he also is a just a fantastic guy. He really gives back to the Zoho community, and in the podcast, is really helpful in talking about how. You know, he changed his ideal client profile and the process that we went through. And, you know, it's a fantastic listen. And also, I think in a time at the moment where referrals are tight, you know, the network, everyone's struggling to get work. Often we'll think of ourselves before others, not because we want to, it's just the nature of how we are. So uh, I think it's a must listen to use outreach into 2024. Next was 466, which is Shell Black. His episode was specialising in Salesforce practice. He spoke about niching, down on niching, depends where you are in the world, and he had some great insights. And like Mass, he really does give back. He's a really great supporter of the Salesforce community. He's a mentor that I go to often to get advice on how I can better serve Salesforce partners, and uh, he's a great guy. So um, if you're listening, Shell, thanks a lot for your help during the year. Next is 481, and it's John Burdett. And his was scaling a Salesforce partner business to 125 people while living a great life. And this is very much in line with my philosophy, which is scale faster, live better. And once again, an amazing guy. He's been very helpful off air 
he's always open when I send him emails, ask him questions, etc. And I think, you know, his this podcast really summed up what the show's about. Next is 486, which was Brett Martin, and how to use content marketing to become the number one Zoho partner in the US. He's a really smart operator, and he gives some great practical advice, and particularly around a YouTube He's got a great channel, Zanata. I recommend that you go and look at it. That we did another, I did another podcast on YouTube during the year, and I'll be focusing more on podcasts in 2024. But Brett's great. I was meant to meet Brett in person, but unfortunately, the US trip got cut short, and I didn't. Last but not least is 507 Bradley Rice. It's AI forecast, so it's talent transition in the Salesforce ecosystem, and he really gives some great tips, not just across the Salesforce ecosystem, but across multiple platforms if you're a tech consultant how's ai going to impact your talent pools once again bradley does a lot for the salesforce community i know he's going to take over the mentoring part of the salesforce community in the future and he's a a fantastic guy so uh, a really good mix of great people and you know they're just some of the highlights that i took out of the interview show now from a solo perspective i just want to pick out three in particular. So one was 479, which is the right to play isn't the right to profit. It's the number one marketing mistake that keeps you from being on business welfare, which was a great tip from Ramon, who I worked through during the year for some of my marketing positioning. But, you know, it's a really powerful podcast and it really talks about the fact that we often think that it's a leads is our issue. We often think about our teams, but Ultimately, it's around how we position ourselves is the most important thing. And please, next year, you are not a Salesforce partner. You're not a NetSuite partner. You're not a Zoho partner. You're not a Monday partner. You know, you insert who you look at. You actually solve a really difficult problem to solve for a set of people and you get a result for them. That's what you should be, right? Not a, just another partner because then you get in the project space and you get into depleting your margin. The next was 488, was unlocking success. So five essential actions to avoid as a tech consultant. I think it's pretty obvious by the title, but please go and have a look and uh, listen to that. It's really the things that I've learned, not just from running my own tech consulting business, but interviewing amazing people like I spoke about, the 71 shows that we've put out, plus also mentoring tech consultants as well. The last one is 509, which is a recent one, which is the strategic profit blueprint for tech consultants and ultimately this is i did a lot of research and i want to thank everyone that was involved so if you're one of those people thank you i researched a lot of people for the playbook that i'm writing and basically the key questions that you need to ask yourself as a tech consultant are put into that blueprint and it's broken into seven sections and i go through some of the questions on 509 and then you can get the full amount of those at paulhigginsmentoring.com forward slash blueprint. But they're the questions I wish I had have asked myself when I ran a practice. It would have made it so much easier and quicker. So that's a quick wrap for 2023. What's going to happen in 2024? Look, I think the overall theme I'm getting from a lot of people is simplify. And I know that we have that theme often, but really I want to sort of look back and put my effort in a couple of key areas. So the Cloud Consultants Collective will be revamped. Now, when I say revamped, at this point I've asked feedback from everyone on what we should do next year. And if I don't get the feedback where we really add value, I'm not quite sure if I'll continue it. It may continue under uh, another device, but I'm not quite sure. So please, if you haven't given me feedback, please give me feedback. And if you have, I really appreciate that. It's uh, it's always great to get feedback from the direct community members. Uh, Next, there'll be a new offer to help owners with their sales teams. So many owners I work with are highly technical, very smart people, but they don't have a lot of sales experience. And then they bring on a sales team to free them up, which is fantastic. But then the sales team, you know, maybe aren't underperforming or not performing to the level they want. And then they're like, I don't have the experience to help them. So that's where I think I can help. I've done it a few times for some of my clients this year. It's worked out really well. You know, I even had a situation where someone had gone and interviewed someone, offered them a job. I went and interviewed them myself and just gave some pros and cons. We ended up, you know, not going forward with that, which was a, uh, you know, saving for everybody in time and effort. But, you know, I think I'll do more of that next year. The other one is we're going to up our game on YouTube. At the moment, Connie does a great job for my team, but uh, we're going to, you know, really up that game because I think YouTube is evergreen podcasts are evergreen and what we want to do is make sure that it's easier to create content by using the podcast and then multi-purposing it so it's still very specific to you as a tech consultant but just makes it easier my end to to do it and if you haven't subscribed to the youtube channel please do it's paul higgins mentoring 
I promise I'll give you lots more gems of wisdom next year. And the last one is when I continue my paid mentoring. What I did this year was sort of have, you know, a sprint, which was, you know, reduce it to 12 weeks. I wanted to take that back to 12 months and really work with, you know, a handful of people that I can make a fundamental difference. And I always say to them, it's like being a non-business partner, a non-financial partner, right? Where I only want a small share of the upside, but I really get active. So yes, I'm a mentor, but I'm very much a hands-on mentor. And I really, I don't want to mention every client of a confidentiality, but I love working with the clients that I have uh, this year, and I really look forward to working with um, them again next year plus more. So finally, a couple of thank yous. So one is to my team that makes this all happen, especially Connie, who even took over the editing at the end of the year, which I really appreciate Connie doing that, and Sarah that does all the posting and a lot of the, the mechanics that sit behind it. So I do this, which I love doing. I love in- interviewing amazing people, giving you solo episodes, and then the team does all the rest. Uh, next to my clients who inspire me to create the content. So you know, 90% of the content is from the conversations I have with clients. And I think that's fantastic. I've solved that or we've solved that together. I think that would make a great piece of content for others that are going down a similar journey. So thanks for that. The guests who have freely given up their time and experience on the show, which is just wonderful. And also just their openness to help outside as well. Like I, I mentioned some of the people like Mass, Bradley, Shell. They've been wonderful in helping, and I could mention a lot of others that do that. So really, thanks to you if you're a guest on the show. And also, finally, I'd, I'd like to thank you, right? If you're a regular listener, you've you know subscribed, you listen to this all the time, I really want to thank you. And you know, it's amazing when I jump on a call with someone and they say, yeah, look, uh, when you said this on that podcast, I did this action or whatever. Like, as a podcaster, you know, you don't get any money for doing it, but the thing that you want to do is help people. And when someone jumps on a call with me and says, this is how you helped me by giving me that advice, it's great. And that's what I do as well, right? I, I basically listen to other people. I've got my list of podcasts and then what I try to do, because you're so busy and time's so precious, is I do the research for you and then bring that to you. So I really want to appreciate you for listening in for the year and have a fantastic festive season. And the bottom line is I love helping others and I love helping tech consultants. So ready, set, go. See you next year on The Solo Show for more ways to scale faster, live better. Time for action. Subscribe, comment, and let me know what you like best about this episode. Plus, get your exclusive show extras and growth action guides for subscribers only. Visit techconsultantsblueprint.com.